This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you for joining us. I'm Julie O'Neill. Here's a look at some of the day's top stories. Cincinnati police will soon launch a new crime gun intelligence center partnering with the ATF for this. This is an effort to stop violent crime and remove illegal guns specifically from the streets. Community advocates say holding property owners and businesses accountable can go a long way in the fight against crime. Chief Isaac agrees it'll take a partnership between police and the people in the community to bring change. The Hamilton County Sheriff's Office is now reviewing its policy for storing service weapons when not in use. This after the sheriff's gun was stolen along with her cruiser on Saturday. According to the current policy, a firearm should be locked away or secured in the trunk. Sheriff Charmaine McGuffey says her vehicle was locked at the time her gun was stolen, but it was uh, uh, she was unsure if the compartment holding the gun inside the car was locked. Neither the thief nor the gun have been located. Florence City Council votes not to spend money to keep the Aquatic Center maintained this year. The center has been closed since 2019. Mayor Diane Whalen says the park has cost the city three million bucks, never turning a profit in its 18 years of existence. The city plans to send surveys out online in mid-July, asking for input on what should become of the Aquatic Center. Jen. Today's forecast is one that's great to get back outside, maybe head to those area parks. We'll end up with a high of around 77 degrees. Sky mostly sunny, humidity not an issue today and tonight cool and refreshing again down to 58 under that mostly clear sky. Now tomorrow heat is starting to build back in. We're back to the mid 80s. South wind is helping with this. The sunshine is doing that, but it's also the rise in humidity that's just starting tomorrow, but you'll feel more of it as we head into that weekend forecast.